Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Tomb Kings playthrough as Katep, of a grand hero something, Katep? I keep forgetting his name. <laughs> the grand hero fan Katep, um, where we are currently in a bit of a war. Now, it's a little bit misleading because all the red territory here isn't mine. This territory up here is a, uh, well not an enemies but they're they're not friends you know they're they're, they're not enemies they're not friends um, however I've just hit the person who's attacking them in Marathi we need to tr want to try and uh, I want to try and get all this territory claimed very quickly because that'll give me a bit of support oh and we've just gained so we can get a Thera's uh, Pitra's Necrotect Ne which uh, would get us a settlement at level 3, colonise any ruins at level 3, which I don't really need at the moment. However, what we also have is the Casket of Souls, which is um, magical artillery. It's armoured, armour-piercing missiles and the light of death. So uh, a casket may allow some tormented souls inside to escape, not for mercy, but to let the dam drain down upon the loosely specified area. <laughs> So I'm going to grab that one to get myself that bit of artillery. And this can uh, go into this army. Oh, I've got too many units at the moment. Um, right. So that's giving these guys some artillery as well. Right, let's have a look at this. We're going to have one, two, three, four archers. We've got some archer cav. Um, one, two, three, four. He's high level. I'm tempted to drop him, though. What I should have done is put him in this army. Um... So I'd like an extra archer in this army. I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking. I'm not going to do anything just yet. Let's see what we can get from here as well. Um, gives the, hold the line and gives a passive extra leadership. Another elix elixir of might, which I don't really need at the moment. Um, what's the other one? And a potion of strength. Hmm... No, and what talisman can we make? Very basic one. Which is still nice, actually. I'm going to grab one of them. Two of them. And, in fact, we are going to go for another... Is the... This one better, actually. This is you personally. I'm going to grab one of them as well. Because we do have various lords I can throw these at, guys. So... So this is our... Um, our Necrotect. We're going to throw him a few things. We're going to hit him the Potion of Strength. And he can have the uh, Defensive Talisman. Because that will help him. All of these guys are currently used. Our prince can also get one of these talisman to help protect him. And do we have anything spare? I think I used them all. Okay, I'm happy with that. Find my harem. Okay, got a little bit of leveling up to do. Um, we're gonna throw it. Oh. I'm gonna throw him restore because if he stays, if he gets near, it means I can restore my hero titan by him getting near, which is gonna be beneficial. Um, all right. So, uh, oh, up, extra up. That's there. Can't talk. Extra capacity for tomb guards. That's actually going to be quite useful. Because that means we're going to be able to recruit more tomb guards into this army. Uh, we can now recruit four. Which means I am sorry. I'm definitely getting rid of you. In fact, no. We're going to do this slightly differently. 
So we're going to have four toon guard, one toon guard with spears and him. One straight melee, and we'll have two straight melee and him. He's going to get replaced by an archer, but he's higher level, so I'm holding on to him for now. Um, and I also would prefer some cav. Right, who's getting leveled up here first? Uh, Grey rock pointers, because that's more attackable. Uh, we're also going to get some... Ooh, we need our exotic eggs here. And then we're going to get a wall out here as soon as we can. Hmm. Tyrant's Peak needs a wall as soon as we can get that. But we're going to save up because we can't quite afford that this turn. We can still get a few more things here, but I'm not going to worry about that just a moment. So, uh... Hexalotl's doing its thing down there. We're going to be able to get another army out soon. Um, I kind of wish I'd gone for a different tree. Somebody did in my comments say I should have gone for the third one. Sorry, the fourth one. And I'm actually beginning to agree with them a bit now. Because if I'd actually gone for the fourth one, I'd be about to upgrade all of my Tomb Guard. Now, I'm most of the way to that other one. And I think being able to get another army out is going to benefit us more than having a buff to my Tomb Guard. Um... And also, I'm going to be able to put some of those lower level units in some of my other armies now. I mean, I could theoretically put them all in my main army, but uh, I think having them spread out a little bit across my armies is still going to be beneficial for us. Right. You can drop them. You're going to move over here. I'm going to drop him off. Ooh. Hmm. You can also get chariots now. Right. What's better? These guys are shielded. The chariots aren't. How fast are the chariots? The chariots are pretty much the same speed. They don't have as good melee attack. They don't have as good melee defense. But they are very solid anti-infantry and they can basically smash lines um you know what i'm gonna give them a go so i'm gonna drop my calves out of here Grab two of them, and how much we get? We'll have three left after that for our other. What are we gonna get? Oh, we want to get one of them. We'll have two left, which will go for other units, basically. Obviously, that's a silly thing for me to say. Let's do a little bit of unit merging for these guys. My will be done. Chuck you at one of them, and you can get some of these guys and some archers. Unliving curse. Address me as your highness. On your knees. Four of them. No, I don't want to knock him over. So that, that makes this a nice army. It will have some cav as well. Um, that's putting us up to our caps. You're going to move back here next turn. Alright, let's end turn. I know we can get... We can also get missile caval missile chariots when we level up. Which are, I believe they do the exact same sort of damage as that. But they also have missiles. I think I need to uh, make friends with those guys very quick. With Mazamundi quite quickly actually. So uh, and we're going to look at doing that. We're obviously going to start moving around in here a bit. To pressure Marathi. Because I don't want to let, let up too much. Because she's already coming back guys. Um, these get, That's fine. My main army will be sorted and back in the city next turn. Um, 
I don't want these guys to fall. I want these guys to hold because they are helping to uh, to keep Marathi busy. And actually, I like I like this. They're they're about to start fighting back. Well, there. Um, now I do like the mountainous terrain. This is good for me, so I can also keep pushing that way as time goes on, um, which does help us. Ridiculous. I seek absolution. Right, you can come back into here. Where we are going to get two more tomb guard. I'll give us four tomb guard. We'll have, still have two units of spears, though one's going to be a far better unit of spears. Though these ones are a special unit, which does help them. So this is this is a very nice solid force here. These guys are are just building themselves back up again. I don't need the public order here, so we're going to whack that into growth. <laughs> See if I can pay them for a trade agreement. Yeah. Right, that is making it start improving. Um, I just can't afford to be in two wars at once at the moment. Let's start building that one up. To increase our public order. Oh, we've got a new thing. So what's our other enchanted item we can get now? The wrong thing. Replenishes hit points of combatants. That's... Oh, I can't get that one. <laughs> I thought I could. Uh, la, la, la. So that one we've got... Oh, potion of speed. I'm not that fussed by that one. Okay, four turns until we get our other army, and that unlocks this, and then we're probably going to go for the fourth dynasty next. Um, we've got a few chariots, so this is actually going to help us. Um, yeah, and we're probably going to be levelling up this thing, which will get us... So this guy, which will get us better horsemen as well, so that'll be helpful. And actually, it's such a different way of levelling yourself up with these guys, because you're... Uh, so that wasn't taken. I could have gone and capped that. I thought that was held by the Skaven. Well, never mind. Um, so long as I can keep friends with them, I'm not that fussed by having them on my borders. Okay, we are not being sieged. In fact, she decided to not siege us there, so that's good. She's going to be pressured up at Ice Rock Gorge. So all of this area is going to be uh, pressured quite a lot. We do have some Skaven over here with Clan Rictus as well, if I'm uh, if I'm right, because they start... The map's very different from the uh, Mortal Empires, so this whole place is a bit... got large regions, but Clan Rictus will be here, I believe, in Hotex Column. Where's Hotex Column? Somewhere around here, anyway, so they're going to be over there. Right. Quite a tough little army there. Um, no, I'm not going to fight that just yet. If she wants to come siege me here, she can. Um, hmm. Let these guys build up a bit more. Tyrant Peak needs this. So I'm going to save up for that. Though, what else do we want here? I would like to get that so we can get these guys because monstrous infantry are always good. I'm intrigued by that. We've got monstrous. How much damage? And the range. I want some of them. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I, I want to get, get going down the Sanctuary of Kemri quickly. But again... I'm, I'm, I'm neglecting my walls, which is always dangerous. Um, let's have a look down here. We're still good down here. I could do with being able to tax these guys. But I make so little in tax. Heck, what do I make tax-wise up here? Again, so tax isn't where I make most of my money here. Um, in fact, my tax is quite pathetic. I lose very little by dropping off my tax. Um, it's still noticeable, but... Uh, you know, it's not a huge drop for us. 
let's have a look. Is there anybody I can get trading with at the moment? We will get them to trade with us, and getting them to trade with us will help. What could dead things want me from me? I'm going to drop my non-aggression pact with them, because they're already starting to not like me, and I'd prefer to keep Mazamundi on side for the time being. Right, so that's actually going to help us quite a bit. And these guys don't actually mind me either. Impossible. Lady of Ulthorn. Speak. Can I offer a sis? Come and join me. The Asur and the Tomb Kings have much to do. So they're not necessarily anti me. Whereas the Dark Elves are a bit, you know. Um, obviously we Nagarond oh, they're the beginning to prefer me, me. Not like not dislike me so much. Anyway, for the time being, let's enter and see what happens. I should have so pushed down and got those settlements, but I thought they were in the Skaven hands. And to be fair, they might have. He might have just gone and jumped up and down on their faces, so. Now that is actually kind of what I didn't want to happen. So we are going to retreat. And I don't think Marathi's going to have enough movement to follow us. So we're going to actually... Ch we're going to pincer movement on them. Oh... They might have just done something very smart. They might have just crippled this army so it can't move and move back a bit. Now, if it's worked, it's really good. If it hasn't worked, it was a success, the block army. Oh, that's that's actually quite a smart move on their part because that means that other army in there is stuck um, and has very, very limited movement. I still don't think she can necessarily get to it in one turn, though. Um, my soul in gods. Hmm. Find my harem. The king moves. Get ourselves some extra archers out first, because they're probably our most important thing. Tyrant Peak definitely needs that wall, though. Let's try and get this trade agreement off, because this will help us massively. They will accept it eventually. Yeah, that's really helping now, and that should get us a trade agreement with them long run, uh, which will benefit us. Um, right, so our prince has leveled up. 5% HP, extra melee attack, that's quite a good one. However, oh! Okay. So these are all different, so I can increase his area of effect with his, uh, Is this what his aura does, guys? Does anybody know? Is this just what his aura does, or is this what he has? Um, I need the help menu up to tell me. Because if this is what his aura does, actually upping his aura is very be beneficial. Can I add, that adds that on there. Um... I'm going to leave that for now. I'm actually going to have a look up to see if the battle effects are what the auras are. I don't think they are, but for now, we've got other things we can go for anyway. Uh, let's go down Woundmaker, which is still 5% weapon damage strength, which is probably better. Um, oh, that's the other thing. We have Death Blow in all of these things, which is uh, hit points are greater than 20%. We get really nice... Uh, oh, Disabled if so when things are on low HP... When I'm on low HP, I get more damage. It's debatable how beneficial that is. Um, 
I don't want to take on that army. But I, I'm going to wait until these guys are in a better situation. Um, oh, that's what I need to do. We need to get him a new Lich Priest. Um, Nekara is the one which buffs up the army, so that's probably our best one. We don't have Scorpions, so that one's... We'll go straight for that one, though. We've got Shadows, we've got Light, and we've got Death. So let's grab him to start with. And we're going to straight down this one. One which buffs up the army. Straight away. Let's see. Oh, This gives an additional bonus versus large effect if I level it up. I'm not so fussed about that. Physical resistance is very good. So we'll chuck, chuck one instead. But what are the others? We're a big buff to damage. Hmm. I want the direct damage spell. High chance opponents will resist weak versus a symbol. Causes damage to combatants. And reduces speed. But we're going to grab that one. Because I like direct damage spells, guys. I like damaging spells, basically. Any way I can uh, I can cause damage to people is always going to be a preferential to me, anyway. Because it, it gives me quite a nice buff. Um, I'm actually really enjoying Tomb King so far, guys. I, I, I know mid-camp way of saying fruit sounds a bit odd. But um, there's quite a few occasions when I've actually been finding... You know, I've done campaigns. And I do campaigns which I enjoy them all. I'm not going to play a campaign I don't enjoy. But I'm enjoying this far more than my Skaven campaign. I know you guys are enjoying my Skaven campaign more, but um, I'm I'm not good at playing Skaven. I'm not. It's not my playstyle. Which these guys are really interesting in their method of play. So, um... ooh, Eternal Servitude. Lich, the Lich priests of the Mortuary Cult have left their ne necropoly in search of servants to aid them in their holy work. The Incar Cantations of, of preservation must be maintained and fervent. However, not everybody is a suitable candidate for work. Who can we spare? A few burns and bones and bodies, which gives us a better miscast, lower miscast chance for ten turns. We use canopic jars, and that's really good. So we're going to do that one. But it is a hit to our canopic jars. Right. You, Marathi. Are getting getting tacked. Let's level you up. Um, oh, we can get all of these. So, if unit is construct, and it's only in thirty meters of me, so that's not a big range. Um, that's a tiny range for that, actually. Um, I guess once you've got lots of constructs, that gets very good. Uh, but no, for now we're, we're buffing up his defences. Oh, actually no, we're going to up our mobility a bit more. Great ritual. Ooh, this is still not an ideal battle, actually. Hmm. I'm going to do it because I want Marathi out of my territory. Um, hopefully this isn't going to go badly. Um... It's not a bad map. She's got quite a big force, so she's not going to be able to do too much. I should have tried to come in from the other side, so we could have pincered her a bit, actually. Um, if I'd got my positioning right, I could have a, potentially got a pincer movement on her, so we'd have had an army coming in from each side. Um, which we're still going to get, to be fair, here, because they're going to come in from that side. That's a really good amount of magic. And these guys are really, really solid troops, actually, guys. So I've got a really solid front line here as well. We've got our own artillery. Um, what's the range on this line? Which has got a really nice range. We've got chariots who are going to go over in these woods to get, get the drop on them, as are my uh, archers here. And actually, we can potentially pull them into us. So... My Tomb Prince is going to go on this side. You are going to go on that flank near the woods. And he can go near you. Are these guys undead or are they constructs? 
They're definitely undead. Um, he can go there. You can go over there, Why you can go here. Return? Actually, no, you can go there, Who's you can go here. I'm actually quite happy with that setup, so. Oh, and they've spawned over there. Right, let's move these guys forwards quickly. We are going to be instantly engaged here. This army is in. in this army is instantly in trouble here, guys. Where are my cav? Let's get my cav out to the side. In fact, my cav can keep chasing these guys down then. Right, you guys can zerg up here. Um... We don't really have time to be being slow here, annoyingly. You guys can get up here fast. You guys can head straight here. And you guys can start moving up quickly. They are breaking. Get them out of there. This really is not good. We're taking too much damage too fast. You guys can get out. I wrongly assumed where they'd be. Um, you guys can all hit that range. You can break off and slam into their flank. Um, you can move up here. Start shooting. You guys can slam into their cav from behind, into their archers from behind. Did I just blow the top off of that? Right, you can start shooting into the back of their main army. You can go onto them. We've already used all of our buffs here. Get all of you guys in there. Right, Katep can actually throw a buff out on these guys. Oh no, no, that's not a buff! Oops! Now he can throw a buff out on those guys. Oops, that nearly went very wrong. You guys can all move up and start attacking. You guys can just zerg straight up and in now. You can charge straight into their heart. To be fair, these guys have held them there, which is, is the best thing for them to do. You guys can break off now. These guys, I don't want getting involved. These guys need to break off and push back in. That hits a rather large area. All of these range can start hitting that uh, War Hydra. You guys can smash back in over there. And you guys can do the same there. You can get right involved in the centre. To be fair, we are, are battering them now. Now that's where I want that to go off. Get these guys out! Break! Uh. Turn and hit them. Don't want to get too involved now, actually. My guys are breaking out. They can uh, break off the field, actually. No, they can keep running. Because they're keeping them moving. You can keep moving up here, you can buff up him. I still want to get this right in the middle of there. You 
these guys can keep moving up. You guys can all shoot at them. Where are the rest of my range? You guys can start peppering in up here. You guys can focus far down this unit. And now you guys can all focus down far down this. What are you doing? I don't think he's got anywhere safe to shoot, so he's just holding off. Which, to be fair, is what he wants to do if he's not going anywhere safe to shoot. You can go hit them. You can slam straight to the side. We are shattering them now, guys. Uh, Marathi is running. Make sure we're hitting these guys as they run. I want to take out as many of them as possible. Oh, that was a hard battle. That was just so unlucky with where they set up. Well, I was a bit daft. I didn't think about where they set up. And to be fair, it was probably obvious they were going to set up here where they had the better advantage. Um, but even if I'd set up here, guys, I'd have probably been in a similar situation. And to be fair, my other guys helped them for, and did a lot of damage to them. Uh, to be fair, my other army helped them really well and did a lot of damage to them. And I think I suspect... No, they got shredded. I was hoping, I half suspected that a few would have survived, more than that would have survived. Uh, because they'd have potentially been able to break straight off the field, which uh, is sometimes a good thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. That said, with the way these armies work, guys, I don't care. Some of these guys, 140 kills that chariot, guys. That's solid. Um... I don't need the regen. Um, I'm going to take the movement bonus. You need to move to here. To get your... Oh no, is the chariot not there? Where do I get the chariot from? Okay, we'll get that from that one, which will take two turns. Oh, we've got a regiment of renown. Uh, some some archers. Land of the dead. Rise. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want to work on that. Immortality and power. Hmm. Victory! Yes! You can get the Regiment of Renown. How much better is that? Again, it's, it actually does slightly less damage. Um, but it does um, it, armor piercing, basically. Lowers their armor. Sunders the armor. Um, right. That's good. That's nice. That's going to be very useful later on, but not necessarily for him. So, buff his will up for the moment. I'm going to have to think about these ones. Grand Hero Tep Katep has leveled up again. Um... Ooh. That's very nice. So, phys extra physical resistance for them all and extra experience for recruits. So, that's good. I alone shall restore Mehikara. Hmm. I don't need that at the moment, though. If they start invading again, I might pop that. Oh, wow, I didn't finish her off. We'll finish her off next turn. Sorry, that was daft of me not finishing her off. I completely wasn't paying attention then. So uh, that's me being daft. I do like the way that the Vortex campaign is still going on while this is happening. Oh, damn. Break and run. Break and run. I'm not sure he ran away far enough, guys. That was quite an impressive distance he ran away. Um... 
Okay, we're going to just batter into them next turn, and then he's going to get back and start building up again, and we'll start getting another army out soon, which will help us. That's going to be our army down here. It's going to probably be light, mostly lighter units, because I'm not that worried about it. Um... Okay, we've got another dynasty, which means we get another army. Oh, now she's running away. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is where the extra movement bonus is. Nice, guys. That's a nice, easy auto now. My hero titan is now ranked 7. We'll keep the movement bonus. You can actually double time it back up here. No, you don't need to. You can move into the city. Right. And you can grab them straight out. Um, we're actually going to be full. So we're going to do a bit of recruitment off the You can get two of those from there, you can get one of them, and you can get one of them from here, and two of them. Okay, so what do we want first? So, uh, both when fighting in desert terrain, that's not so useful. Campaign movement range, income from trade, 10% campaign movement range is huge. That growth, though. Ooh. What do I want? Obviously, these are just increasing our capacity for things, which I do want to do as well. Um, first off, I want the extra growth, because growth is always good, because it means my cities get bigger and I get more income, or in this case... I will get the ability to build more things. This is nice, actually. Uh, this is a very nice building um, to get. Hey, we are now trading with you. I'm waiting. Come and join me. The Asur and the two. They counter off the trade, which actually is beneficial for me. It's more beneficial for them, to be fair, Quite but. Uh, um Malevolent Lord. Speak. Nagaroth warrior. I'm at war. Speak. With the people who are squishing you. Speaks. And you don't the like me. Right. First level that one up first. We're gonna level that one up. Walls. If I don't build walls, guys, you are more than welcome to shout at me. I'm going to build an army in Titan Peak. Rakash of the Second Dynasty. That's really nice. So he's obviously a special character, Rakash of the Second Di Dynasty. Uh, that's huge. I mean... I don't know why I'm even looking at the other ones. It, it, it's straight up him. That's very, very nice. But it's straight up him because... Is he somebody special, guys? Um, he does just have the normal trees. I was kind of half wondering if he was like some special... Some special lord or something. Um... start with, you can just get out, grab a couple of spears. We've got loads of things we can make now. Oh, I can awaken another... Oh, so we're going to awaken these guys. Um, it's a nice unit of sword infantry who do magic damage. That's good. Recruitment in this army, but we're probably going to move them over to the other army. 
uh, we'll probably end up swapping them into this army, simply because having them in this army is going to be more benefit to us. Um, Katep has leveled up again. Still very tempted by that one. Because um, we're going to get those units long run. Um, that's good. That's... What do I need for this? So, melee attack for Nakara horsemen, skeleton horsemen, archers, skeleton chariots. So that's basically for our range. Sandstorm uh, reduces the cooldown. Um, and adds an extra use of it. I think I've got the Sandstorm ability, so I guess it's going to give me the ability as well. Um, so that's just a... Uh, that's a... That's a direct damage spell. That's a damage... That's a massive damage buff to units, actually, guys. To my ranged units. Um... That's a really solid defensive buff. Um, ooh! However, we're getting him a Skeleton Chariot to start with. Because that's actually going to mean I'm going to be able to put him in melee a little bit more. Um, gives him a nice buff to his health. Gives him a nice buff to his armor and his weapon damage. So that's going to be really beneficial for him. And it means he gets to ride around in a, in a shiny chariot, guys. Which is always good. We're going to go for something different this time. We're going to go for one of light. This is the one we had to start with. Um, so give him exorcism, which is negative to everybody else's order. And some nice buffs to my people. Okay, and we are massively over on time again, guys, because I'm enjoying this. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really do hope you've enjoyed this. Next time, we're going to try and uh, try and take the rest of the Iron Peaks, get this area nice and secure. And then we're probably going to look at pushing out into the other area, you know, into the other territories Marafi's holding at the moment over here over here before eventually we're going to end up having to push north into the mountains um i don't want to push right into the chaos on the, the chaos wastes up here but certainly we're going to be pushing north into all of this uh before we uh then look to expand elsewhere once we've got here secure if i can keep the lizard men and these guys friendly i'll potentially look at going over into the uh going over to nakara itself and uh, showing the other tomb kings who's boss anyway guys thank you very much for watching